the multiplication and division of signed numbers, the rules are the, the same. And it's, it's pretty much easier than the addition and subtraction of signed numbers. Um, pretty much, if the signs are the same, your answer is going to be positive. If the signs are opposite, your answer is going to be negative. And that's it. That's, that's the rule. So if I have a, a 4, and I'm going to write them in parentheses beside each other. If I have a 4 times a 1, 4 times 1. Well, 4 times 1 is going to be 4. And since their signs are the same, the answer is positive. Let's do a 4 times a negative 1. Positive 4 times a negative 1. The answer will be 4, but since the signs are opposite, it's going to be negative. That is it. That is the rule. That, so you, you're just going to do regular old multiplication, and your answer will be negative if the signs are not the same. 6, this time I'm going to put a dot, because in algebra, a dot also means multiplication. Uh, let's do a negative. So we have a positive 6 times a negative 1. That's just going to equal a 6, because 6 times 1 is 6. And since the signs are opposite, guaranteed negative. Like No matter what, it's just going to be negative. If we have a negative 3 times uh, negative 2, negative 3 times negative 2, the signs are the same, so I know automatically, I know my answer is going to be positive. And 3 times 2 is 6. That is all 2 the multiplication of sine numbers. If the signs are the same, your answer is positive. If your signs are not the same, your answer is negative, and that's always the rule. Now for division, is the same thing, the same rule. If I have a negative 35 divided by a negative 5 the ant the the signs are the same i know my answer is going to be positive and 35 divided by 5 is 7 if we have a negative 35 divided by a positive 5 just by looking at this, I know my answer is going to be a negative already because I know my signs are opposite. So I know the answer is going to be a negative. And then uh, 35 divided by 5 is 7. That is it. So it's pretty straightforward. If your signs are the same, oh, okay, we can, we can do another example. A positive 6 divided by 2. Signs are the same. I know it's going to be a positive, and then it's just 6 divided by 2 is 3. Positive 6, using the same numbers again, because the goal here is to really drive home the concept. So that's why I, I would reuse the same numbers, but change things around just to really show you what's going on. We have a negative 2. 6 divided by negative 2. Just by looking at that, I already know answer is going to be negative because I'm dividing on like signs. So automatically, I know the answer is going to be negative. And then, so it's going to be a 6 divided by 2. Answer is 3. So although 
these are this are both negative signs answer is still positive same thing over here with the multiplication we're multiplying two negative numbers answer is still positive because the the rule is if your signs are the same when multiplying and dividing your answer is going to be positive if your signs are opposite when multiplying and dividing your answer will be negative that's it that's the rule and that's all for now later